The full details of Minnesota Fighting Vikings' brand new linebacker Jordan Hicks's contract are out, and they're real, and they are spectacular. The Vikings got a, a steal yet again, and I, I understand the whole, while well, the Vikings aren't making big-time moves in free agency, even though they can free up the cap space, I, I get it. I fully understand it. But the whole Kwesi Adolfa Mensa money ball approach to things, and it, it is going to be difficult. It's not a one-for-one -one comparison from baseball, money ball, Billy Bean and the Oakland A's, Theo Epstein uh, and the Cubs and the Red Sox vert into NFL. But finding value from veterans who are underpriced due to their age, due to uh, potentially coming off an injury, even though Hicks isn't, uh, and, and talking about this, that, and the other thing, there are, are still ways where you can construct your team and uh, at great prices and still go about doing things. Where uh, Going back to the A's of Moneyball, you know, David Justice at the end of his career, where the Yankees were paying half of his salary, the, the uh, Oakland A's and Billy Bean got a deal where he was cheap, still had some good ball left in him, and Jordan Hicks is one of those guys. And Jordan Hicks, the full details are it's a $3 million sign-in bonus, so that pro rates cap it uh, over the two years of the deal. Uh, his $1.45 million base salary in 2022 is fully guaranteed. He's got 50 k in workout bonuses, so beep, bop, 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 boop, $3.5 million total uh, cap it this year uh, for Jordan Hicks, who, even though... 31, it led the Cardinals in tackles each of the last three years, had a career-high four sacks last season as well. He can get after things. He is a leader. He is a tackling machine. He's just like, hoovering up all of those tackles. And he can do the dirty work Dirk McGurk while Eric Kendrick just flies around doing Eric Kendricks type things. It's going to be a great marriage of those two as inside linebackers. And then next year, $2 million of his $4.45 million base salary becomes fully guaranteed on the third day of the new league year in 2023. So the Vikings can get out of his contract with only $1.5 million dead if it doesn't work out. Like if Jordan Hicks falls off a cliff or if he has some injuries or this, that, the other thing, etc. Also, he's got five hundred k per year in active per game bonuses plus $2 million in incentives. So this deal could push to two years, $12 million bucks, but it's TBD what those incentives are. Likely going to be something in the range of, hey, you get this amount if you lead the team in tackles, this amount if you make the Pro Bowl, this amount if the team goes to the Super Bowl, stuff like that. And some of those incentives could be not likely to be earned, so that means that they wouldn't count on this year's cap. Others... Uh, I like, you know, the tackling bonuses uh, could uh, be deemed likely to be earned, so they would be on the Vikings cap this year. But overall, I, I think that it is a fantastic value for a, a great leader, probably going to be a walk-in and be a team captain, and just a guy who's uh, accustomed to working in an odd front defense. I think he's really going to ease the transition as the Vikings go from a 4-3 to a, um, a multiple front defense to uh, eventually, you know, two, three years from now, if Kevin O'Connell and Ed Donatel are still in power, uh, to a true uh, odd front 3-4 type defense. And I think that he and Kendricks are going to be two great three-down linebackers in this defense, flying around, making plays. So, yeah, I understand it's not sexy. It's not you know spending up you know 10, 15 million, 20 million bucks per year on, on a single player. The, the Vikings certainly aren't going all Jacksonville on the bit in free agency, but that's okay. That's okay. I love the Harrison Phillips signing. I love the Jordan Hicks signing. in the Pride of Texas. Hook him, baby. Uh, especially at that price, man. So go up and get out. Get, also, it's a Rob Brzezinski special where all the guaranteed money is bunched up in the first year. So if, the, if things don't work out, no must, no fuss. Just like the Michael Pierce contract, even though it was a three-year, $27 million deal that told from 2020, the Vikings got out after one year. Uh, essentially, uh, no harm, no foul. So it is what it is there. Uh, Beer thoughts on our thoughts. Jordan Hicks deal. Value absolute value man uh, let us know in the comment section below subscribe for daily vikings takes want to support the work put a little something in the venmo but until next time skull production value